So welcome to R&D Day. And for those of you who don't know Royvent, our mission as a company is to discover, develop, and commercialize drugs faster and more efficiently than the rest of the pharmaceutical industry. We do that in two ways. The first is by aligning the incentives of our staff more effectively than an average pharma company. And the second is by deploying technology across the discovery, development, and commercialization process. On the incentive alignment front, we build our business a little bit differently. We're structured the way a multi-manager asset, a multi-manager platform in the asset management industry would be structured as a family of small companies, decentralized vants in our model. What that means is every scientist, every developer, every commercial leader at Royvent and in our family of companies has uncapped upside in the projects they uniquely work on in addition to the broader forms of compensation that they receive. And what that allows us to do is to be able to turn the traditional pharma incentive model upside down. In a traditional pharma company, if you take a personal risk and you succeed, you don't really participate meaningfully in the upside. If you take a personal risk and you fail, you might actually experience meaningful downside in the form of job security, budgetary cuts, and so on. We turn that incentive model upside down by allowing employees, when they succeed, to actually participate in the upside of the products they generate by giving them equity in their unique projects, in their vans. At the same time, we also acknowledge that sometimes those projects fail and we have actually been successful in redeploying the talent that has grown up in Royven over the course of the last seven years throughout our ecosystem of Vance. So that's the incentive alignment model. But we're also a little bit different than venture-backed biotech companies in that each of these companies is supported by Royven to operate more effectively than an average biotech company. And a big part of how we do that is through the development of technology at Royven itself, the parent company. Of the over 800 employees across our family of companies, across our family of 20 vans, over 300 of those sit at the parent company itself, at Royvent, developing technology that allows us to discover drugs more effectively, develop drugs more effectively, and also eventually commercialize them. On the discovery front, you're actually going to hear today, in some ways for the first time publicly, revealing the ways in which we have deployed artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms to be able to discover small molecules and to discover novel treatment modalities, including degraders, more effectively than the rest of the pharma industry and what we have in store in the future as we continue to discover more drugs using our technology. At the same time, we also apply tools that allow us to conduct clinical trials more effectively, in some ways that allow us to create technology that we're independently able to commercialize through third parties as well, which you'll hear about over the course of the presentation. Seven years ago, all of this was a vision. I'm proud to say that today, it's actually a reality, backstopped by several FDA-approved products that were developed at Royvent that would not have been developed but for our model. We have, we hope, many more FDA approvals in our future as a company, and we continue to develop drugs across the full spectrum of discovery stage all the way through phase one, phase two, and phase three stage programs. We also have our first program preparing for a commercial launch, which will be a new chapter for us as a company. And at Proteavant, our mission is to degrade disease-causing proteins to defeat disease. We do this by creating medicines that harness the body's innate cellular machinery to identify disease-causing proteins and mark them for destruction. And at Proteavant, we have the scientific knowledge, proprietary technologies, business acumen, and risk tolerance required to succeed. Now, there are a host of reasons why we're really excited about the opportunity to work in the field of protein degradation. In particular, we believe that protein degradation provides distinct advantages over other drug modalities. For instance, unlike inhibitors, protein degraders are not constrained by the classic active site requirements. This allows us to target disease-causing proteins that have been historically undruggable, such as transcription factors, scaffolding proteins that lack a catalytic binding pocket. Degraders are also designed to have high selectivity for the target protein. The high selectivity for the protein of interest is crucial because it reduces the potential for degradation of isozymes and paralog proteins with high homology that have really important normal functions in cells. And further, uh, degraders have demonstrated efficacy 
in drug-resistant disease, which is a big problem for a lot of the indications. And through protein depletion, the graders can overcome drug-resistant disease since they're not reliant on changing the protein's actual function. And finally, degraders are catalytically efficient, meaning one degrader can go ahead and degrade many of the same copies of the disease-causing proteins, and therefore, it's possible to achieve therapeutic activity at lower doses than one might see from other drug modalities, including inhibitors. So I just talked about the attributes of the protein degraders, and the ones that I just described really set the stage for us to expand the druggable proteome and treat patients with debilitating diseases that were out of reach before. And this is a truly wonderful thing for uh, you know, our whole industry. So we do so by exploiting the ubiquitin proteasome system. And Woody referred to that a little bit in his presentation. In essence, the protein degradation through the UPS has multiple uh, steps. And the first one is the degrader must simultaneously engage with the disease-causing protein and the E3 ligase complex. Second, through the orientation of the new ternary, we're able to bring those proteins, the target protein in the E3 ligase complex, into very close proximity. And this really enables the ubiquitination of the protein of interest, marking that protein for destruction by the proteasome. And finally, once the degrader releases the ubiquitinated protein for destruction and degradation, it can then move on to repeat this process over and over again. And the degraders that we're really focusing on in terms of constructs today are heterobifunctionals or protax or monovalent degraders such as glues. And so you can imagine, Roy Vant became pretty intrigued with the vast opportunity in protein degradation and decided to enter this field with intention. Now we've done so by forming a new Vant, our Proteovant Vant, Proteovant Therapeutics and by assembling a world-class team to fuel our internal capabilities at Proteavant and also drive our collaborations forward. As previously announced, we acquired Oncopia the acquisition of Oncopia Therapeutics in 2020. Once Oncopia uh, was founded by Xiaomeng Wang in the University of Michigan, and Dr. Wang is a world-renowned scientist focused on targeted protein degradation, he formed Oncopia to house his growing pipeline of degraders for more than 10 targets and additional related IP. Through this acquisition, we acquired our initial pipeline of degraders and formed a long-term exclusive partnership with Dr. Wang and his labs for protein degrader discovery. We then closed a $200 million equity investment from SK Holdings, a strategic investment arm of SK Group in Korea and very good partners to us in this venture. And of course, we're still supported and will be with our majority shareholder by Roy Vant's balance sheet, drug development capabilities, and many other aspects of the Roy Vant family. With these pieces in place, we formed a deep, valuable, and differentiating collaboration with Vant AI, our machine learning company with focused capabilities in degrader and E3 ligase discovery. So I blew through this part, uh, and I want to just take a little bit more of a second to talk about our team. Because I'll tell you, our team at Protevant is truly world class. As the CEO, I'm tremendously proud of the depth and level of experience of the team that we've assembled. This is our leadership team shown here, but I can assure you that the rest of our team is at the same high caliber. Now, our team comes from both top tier pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, and brings the required skill sets in crucial scientific areas such as biology and structural biology, medchem, structural and computational bio, uh, chemistry, CMC, project management, and many other key skill sets and functional areas. This is a leadership team with vast experience in drug discovery and development. And as well, we have a healthcare business team that has done a lot of business and company formation and capital formation. Very excited about this team. So, Proteavant's been built on a foundation of highly differentiated capabilities that form our powerful degrader and development engine. We start on the left here with our focus on target selection and validation, which is really the, the beginning of the spear. And this is driven by our R&D, structural biology, and strategy expertise. We overlay the protein degrader knowledge that we now have and the drug hunting capabilities with Xiaomeng Wang and our own internal R&D team. And our internal wet labs 
across the Roy Van family and now within the Wang Labs and Proteavant further drives our rapid high quality discovery and development work. And then across all of this, we're able to layer the computational uh, physics and in particular, our relationship with Vant AI and machine learning to enhance our target identification and to greater design. Proteavant's combination of these core elements has truly created a differentiated vision for protein degradation, drug discovery, and development. So, as we stand here today, we have a very balanced pipeline of protein degraders to a range of targets spanning oncology and immunology, from early discovery to later stage preclinical development. We're currently really focused on advancing a number of the protein degrader programs in our current pipeline, some of which are listed here and others remain undisclosed. Simultaneously though, we are discovering degrader programs to new targets of high interest and producing novel binders to E3 ligases that may expand possibilities far beyond the current subset of ligases that are being employed in degrader discovery. I personally am very encouraged by the progress we've made over this period and feel like we're gonna see more and more out of this opportunity in this pipeline. So, I wanna just take a pause here like I did with my team and talk a little bit about our exciting proprietary collaboration with Vant AI. Now, uh, I think my, my colleague Woody uh, referenced DeepMind's AlphaFold and there are a couple others that are really intriguing in the AI arena in life sciences. However, the reality is the level of hype in the AI arena is still very high and the number of clear successes remain pretty low. That's an opportunity, it's also a challenge. And with that as the backdrop, it's important to note that Vant AI is exclusively focused on how machine learning can be applied to degraders. And the Vant AI leadership made a very bold strategic decision to approach machine learning for degraders in a very novel way. Instead of focusing on finding the best chemistry for both sides of this equation, the E3 ligase and the target, and then combining them with trial and error, which is the classic chemistry first approach, I would call it, Vant AI chose to focus on finding the best possible interfaces between two proteins, and they call that their protein contacts first approach. Now, focusing on the biology of protein interfaces really reframes the problem in a way that deep learning can be used. Instead of relying on the small amount of chemistry knowledge that's known and is available, Vant AI can instead tap into the millions and millions of years of evolution to learn what good protein, protein interfaces really looks like. Those that occur in nature the most natural interfaces you can find. And this actually lets Vant AI predict which synthetic interfaces made by degrader molecules are in the end likely to work. So once identified and scored, Vant AI chooses the optimal protein interfaces and applies the minimum required chemistry to fill that interface gap. And this results in very nice small molecule, small drug-like compounds, and effectively glue-like structures. So, I, thinking this sounds exciting and innovative, right? But the question that everybody always has in this arena is, does it work? And from my perspective and from what I've been seeing, the answer is yes, and in compelling fashion. For example, Vant AI conducts extensive benchmarking against previously reported gluternary complexes. And they found that the greater than 72% of the structures predicted by its platform were consistent with the actual reported 3D structures found in nature. This is a huge improvement over traditional protein-protein docking protocols that are used at the industry at large. This improvement can be attributed to Vant AI's protein contacts first approach and the enhancements made to its platform from the focus to greater learnings. And we can see the real world impacts of this capability here. You know, where for a target without previously recorded de uh, degradation, Vant AI has been able to design degraders that had first pass hit rates of 75% with greater than 50% degradation. And within the first year of initiating the effort, five targets achieved proof of concept degradation. So this is just one example, but through the power of our partnership, we're applying Vant AI's protein first, uh, contacts first approach to areas within our degrader and discovery development where we see a clear value 
to infuse that capability. And we're really excited about the early tangible outputs from this relationship. So to close, at Proteavant, we're very fortunate to be working in this exciting field of protein degradation and to be positioned to lead. We're well financed. We've assembled a truly world-class team. We have a rich and growing pipeline of degraders to exciting targets and leading edge machine learning capabilities for, deg for degrader discovery that I think is going to really turn us into a great uh, uh, position. And obviously, we also have our computational physics and other work over at Roy Van Discovery. And so we're very focused on delivering tangible value for patients, our company, and for our shareholders collectively. And we look forward to keeping you all apprised of our progress and fully expect that we'll be able to have a, a great update in the first half of 2020. I thank you very much.